What's going on, guys? It's your boy Taboo, and uh, here today, this is a topic that I kind of wanted to cover for a while. You know, I've always been, uh, I've had this on my mind, and I've I've always wanted to make a video about this, but I kind of just held back on it for a little bit because I know that I I do have uh, you know, a lot of female fans uh, that do support the music. So just before I go ahead and start talking about this, I just want to go ahead and let you know that this is nothing personal. This is just something that you know, has to be said because I do have a lot of guys that listen to the music that hit me up time to time and they let me know about the occasional, you know, shit that they go through with their relationship experiences and what they deal with with females. And I completely understand exactly where they come from because this is just something, especially nowadays, that's just, it's just getting way worse. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking around the subject. Um, so pretty much I want to talk about as a guy why you shouldn't be trying to chase females or make women your main priority. So disclaimer real quick, if you're in a good relationship right now and you think your girl is a great girl, you guys are happy together, kudos to you. I'm happy for you. Don't just turn around now and just be like, oh man, she's probably going to fuck me over at some point. Um, this is just for the people that have gone through it or people who just want to hear a little something about... <laughs> The dangers. Uh, so anyways, you know, I have talked to and I've met so many people in life who have given up chasing their dreams. They've given up on goals. They've given up on becoming their true selves because of a woman, like because of a girl, like they let that person control them, you know, or they, they just like they give it up just to go chase you know, like sex and, and just, just stupid shit like that, you know, or, um, they fuck up and get the wrong girl pregnant and that chick like manipulates them and keeps them in a, a relationship, you know, even, yeah, even if the guys like going and messing around and shit, they, they're still stuck in that. They can't get out of that. Cause a lot of them I do know <laughs> are paying like child support and shit like that. Um, but that's just like one of the situations I can get so deep about this subject um, so I'm going to try as hard as I possibly can to just <laughs> get to the important stuff. So like I said, I do know a lot of guys that they waste their time just, you know, chasing women, chasing women. I remember, okay, yeah, I remember back when I was like 16, 15, um, you know, me and me and the friends, we'd go to the mall and, you know, there would be cute girls there. This is before like Instagram. This is before like social media uh, started popping off and, you know, everybody's like, wants to be famous and shit nowadays this is where you could actually walk up to a person and and or walk up to a girl and spit game to her or try to flirt with her without having to worry about some type of like me too movement or just like <laughs> you know what i'm talking about like all this shit that's going on nowadays it's it's fucking ridiculous but you know we would we would be out there at the mall you know trying to spit game pull numbers and it would be fun it would be cool you know sometimes you get the number sometimes you don't whatever i think that all guys at that age definitely should go out there try to play the field um you know get get your game up you know just so you you know how to even approach females to talk to them um but what i'm trying to get to is that you need to get that point of your life out of the way because if you don't you become uh, what I like to call, I guess, a simp. You become like a 20 year old, you know, 30, 40 year old guy that's just like, who's never had any kind of interaction with females. And you just, you you know, what I'm talking about, you see those guys on Instagram, um, like in the comments of like a like a IG thought or like a premium snap girl. <clears throat> and they're like, like, like crazy ass thirsty comments like, oh, like, baby, I'll smell your feet, I'll lick your toes. And Oh, uh, like people buying bath water, buying fucking <laughs> gamer girl bath water, those kind of guys. You don't want to be that kind of guy, you know. So definitely, like I said, at that age, you should be out there, you know, get silly, you know, wrap your willy, you know. So that way, when you get older, you know what's up. You know how to peep game and you don't get manipulated because, you know, like I said, I've talked to guys who listen to my music and they thank me for some of the stuff that I say because it's it's real you know yeah okay whatever there are females who do get into relationships where they get fucked over by guys just the same way guys get fucked over by girls but you got to understand that especially now in the time that we live in females are a lot more narcissistic because they don't need you as the guy whenever they can hop on any any app uh fucking instagram 
Facebook, Snapchat, whatever. And there's like an army of guys that will just shower them with attention. You know, um, I have a homie and I'm not going to say his name, but if he's listening, he knows who I'm talking about. He's he has a relationship. And I always tell his girl whenever we're always out and I'm like fucked up and I start going on on a tandem giving a speech and shit. I'm like, hey, look, you guys got something great. You know, don't ever feel like you need to be like all these other girls just getting all this attention from all these other guys because at the end of the day, those kind of females, if Instagram were to dis- disappear or social media were to just completely fall off the face of the earth, those kind of people, they wouldn't they wouldn't be able to function because <laughs> they need that attention in order for them to feel validated, you know. So um, this is also another reason why I try to tell you know, some of the the people that I know, like, hey, man, like, they be trying to send me pictures (laughs) of, like, females and shit sometimes. I'm just like, man, fuck that bitch, you know? Like, I'm not worried about her. I'm focused on other things. And this is kind of going to tie into what what I'm talking about when I say you need to be focused on yourself. You need to be focused on your goals and anything that you want to do for yourself because if you spend all your young years chasing women, all right, think about it. Girls, I'm sorry, like I said, if you're listening, I'm, spo- I'm spoiling the secrets, the, the cat's out of the bag, you know? Girls are like cats, man. If you're sitting there, you got a pet cat, right? You try and chase the cat all over the fucking house. The cat doesn't want to play with you, but you you go and you're fucking cutting the grass or some shit, or you're watching a movie. Kitty comes out of nowhere, right? Rubbing against your leg. It wants to be pet, all that shit. That's exactly how it goes when you deal with, you know, females for the most part. If you're if you don't have anything of value and you're just you haven't built yourself, you have nothing going for yourself and you're just chasing, 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 they're gonna they're not trying to fuck with you because you don't have anything of value that they want. You know? Either that or you're gonna end up like some of these rich, unattractive dudes that be having like fine ass females, not because they look good, but because they got money. But y'all already know how that goes. You know, so like I was saying, it's like you don't need to be chasing because you should be focusing on yourself. You know, this is just something that I want some of you younger guys to understand. If y'all are listening to this, it's like as a guy, you know, uh, you hear women mature faster than men or whatever. But I'm I'm not going to lie. I've talked to girls all sorts of ages. I've dated women you know, through high school, when I was in high school, in my 20s, you know, I've dated women in their 20s, uh, in their 30s, and they're, I've dated a, a woman that was almost 50, and that maturity shit, to me, I think it's bullshit, because guys age in a different way, you know, whenever you're in high school, or junior high, you're this scrawny little person, or whatever, if you didn't play sports, or you didn't work out, or nothing, but as you start to get older, you start to develop in a different way, you start to you're able to earn more as a man or as a or as a young man growing up. You're able to earn more money. You're able to uh, grow more in a in a way to find your potential and who you are. So if you ever remembered, there was always that one girl in your school who was like dating the guy who was like in his early twenties. She was probably like sixteen or seventeen, and she had a boyfriend that was like a bad boy, I guess, in his twenties there's a reason for that there's a reason why you see older men with big fucking facial hair big buff or even just unattractive that are older with younger hot women because that's how it's supposed to go a lot of these guys that you see that are older with that money that are pulling hot chicks it pisses other like women off that are the same age as them because they figured out how the game goes And I'm about to tell you guys exactly how the game goes if you're a guy listening. And if you're a female listening and you made it this far, then this is definitely something that, you know, I would pay attention to. As a guy, like I said, you start off young through your years. You know, you don't really get no play too much, honestly, with females because they're looking at the jocks or the popular guys or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, Me in high school, I didn't really care about all that shit. I kind of just talked to everybody as long as you were you were cool. I fuck with you. It don't matter if you were a gangbanger, you were a goth person, you were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! or whatever. I talked to you if you were cool. Um, So, you know, you're going through school. Nobody's really fucking with you. Let's say you got a hobby. Um, You fucking, let's say you draw. You know, you're just drawing in class and shit like that, right? People don't really notice it, whatever. You start to become older, you know, you start to work out a little bit more. Nobody really gives a fuck. 
and let's say everybody's graduating high school, y'all are in your 20s, and you still continue to invest in your passion and you continue to invest in yourself. Um, and let's say you become successful from that. You start making a lot of money and then you've been working out also throughout all that time. You start to get bigger, buffer, you're making money. Then that's whenever chicks are going to start looking your way. But those same girls that were, uh, you know, not giving you any play, turning you down or whatever. Um, think about it. As females, they age backwards. It might sound crazy when you hear that. You probably never thought about it before. But the older that they're getting, the less attractive that they're getting and the older you're getting, the more money you're making, the more attractive you're getting, the more opportunity you have to become more, you know, in shape, looking like a damn, you know, stud. You know, you can maximize your 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 potential, you know, definitely. And you can have that option to be that guy or that asshole, if they want to call it that, who's, you know, able to pull. <laughs> it's legal, man. You could be 40 years old with 18 year old girls straight graduated it don't matter you know and it pisses some chicks off because you're like oh that's gross whatever but we don't give a fuck we're guys we don't want women um for financial stability that's what they go for guys for we go for women because of their youth their beauty and if they got a good personality and all the other shit you know um but just in general man with this whole entire age that we live in it's like uh, it's just it's just crazy with all the dating apps and all the all the shit. It's just like the hookup culture. I think I said it best to a girl one time uh, that I kind of was just like, I kind of got into it with a little bit because I told her, I'm like, man, you know, it's sad that I'm a guy and I tell you that it's fucked up whenever it's easier to get sex than it is to actually get love, you know, and it's fucked up because that's true. Um, I'm not a big fan of dating apps. I don't really give a shit for them anymore. Um, sometimes I hop on it and just look through it and just see what's out there. And it's always the same every single time. Um, from a guy's perspective, I've seen it from a girl's perspective and a guy's perspective. So I'm not just one sided on this, but I've seen it as a guy. Um, you go on Tinder <laughs> or an app like that and you just look through what's on there. It's, it's horrible. It's nothing but, I say it all the time. <laughs> if you know me, it's nothing but premium snap girls. Uh, what is it? IG thoughts. Um, I'm, I'm an IG model. Let me, let me call it that. Not a thought. Uh, what are they? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking to, to build and connect with a business <laughs> individual. I don't know what the fuck they call it. Cash app. They got the cash app in the bio. They want a sugar daddy or not looking for anything, but sugar daddy's welcome. Uh, and then what's another one that I see all the time? I'm not sure what I want, but I, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even fucking know. It's ridiculous. And there's a lot of like single moms on there too, man. You know, no disrespect to the single moms out there because there's a lot of them. I have a couple that I know that are really cool, but the problem is, is that they're on dating apps trying to look for just any kind of guy to take care or help them out of their situation. And I know a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about right now, some people are going to get offended by it, but I don't, I don't really give a shit because this is just kind of stuff that needs to be heard. You know, I grew up and I was raised by a single mom who did everything that she could for me, definitely. But there is no diff, there is no greater experience than to have a loving home with two great parents that set an amazing example for you. And in this time that we live in, this is probably something that's said all the time, this generation, this time, because this time that we live in is very fucked up. And there's a lot of kids that are going to be getting raised with stepdads and, and shit like that because a lot of these young females, especially now with the way things are, they're just out there banging anybody and just fucking around with anybody because they have this live fast mentality. And it seems like the roles have been reversed because I know a lot of guys that are looking for a real woman or looking for a real girl that actually want to settle down. And <laughs> all they're getting is just like these, they just want money. They just want a sugar daddy. They just want all this. And then I've talked to chicks before who complained about having a fucked up relationship with a guy or having a bad guy, and then they get a good guy and they fuck that guy over, <laughs> you know? So it's just it's just a, a really bad cycle. And I'm not going to say that, that girls don't get fucked up relationships because that's not the point. And if you're one of those females that says you're not like that or whatever, I don't care because this isn't about you. There's always an exception to the rule. This is for people or this is for the dudes out there that are really going through it, you know? Like, the thing is, is, you know, you need to build yourself. 
when you focus on yourself, if if I did not think about it, guys, I'm I'm who I am now because I focused on my craft. I remember being with girls in relationships who told me you need to stop rapping, get a regular job, or focus on you. You need, or they laughed about it. You know, like, oh well, what is your what's your dream job, or what do you want to do? And I'm like, yeah, I just want to make music. You know, I want to have fans, and I want to travel the world. And they laugh, and they're like, you you should get a realistic job. You know, because that's not realistic. Everybody wants to be a rapper. Or you're not going to be able to make it. Da, da 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 And you see, you guys see where I'm at now. You know, this was back in like high school, and look at where I'm at now. You know, so chase your dreams. Focus on yourself. You know, um, and my opinion, honestly, with even shit like marriage, is I'm not too big on it because I feel like in this time, it's not how it was back before the 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 2000s 90s era whenever you got married you got married and you guys stayed together for the most part but now the divorce rate is completely ridiculous um people don't stay together for love um i know people that get into relationships um young age they get married and they divorce at like 23 24 years old that's fucking horrible you know and let's put this into perspective, if you guys really want to get deep into it. The guy who created Amazon, Jeff Bezos, wherever the fuck his name is, he got divorced. And his wife is now one of the wealthiest women in the world. I'm not sure what her part was in creating Amazon, but as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know, he pretty much created that company from the ground up uh, with the people that he worked with. And just by her marrying him and divorcing him, she has now become one of the most wealthiest females do you have that jeff bezos money think about that for a second i'll give you some i'll give you a chance to think you got that kind of money no you don't <laughs> i think even einstein um like got divorced his wife divorced him you know the thing is is you can't really make women happy the more you try to make them happy the more demanding and angry they get and the thing is, is like some people or some women or some girls in general that are going to listen to this are going to be like, oh, he's just bitter because he went through a fuck. No, you know, that's that's not true at all. I'm not bitter at all. Honestly, I really don't give a fuck. I wasn't even going to make this podcast. I was actually going to go play some more Code Vein, which is a really good game, by the way. Um, but I just there's too many guys that hit me up that are going through shit with relationships. And there's somebody out there that needs to hear this. I don't care if this video even just um makes it out there to like 50 people who listen because as long as I touch one person that can get some kind of meaning out of this that's all I really care about you know definitely so I'm not really sure how long I've been going on with this uh because like I said this is a topic that I can get really deep about um let me just make sure I'm not forgetting anything <laughs> so just pretty much to recap um focus on your on your goals man chase chase your dreams uh, women will always be there. You, if you're like in your teens or in your, or your early mid twenties listening to this right now, trust me, they just get hotter <laughs> as time goes on, man. Uh, the clubs, if you, if you want to get that out of your system at a young age, go club and go partying at a young age, you know, but at some point you need to just stop and focus on the grind, focus on the money, focus on the goals, because the clubs are always going to be there. The hot chicks, they're always going to be there. You know, you need to stop living for right now and think about the future. Yeah, we can die any day. I could die tomorrow. But you want to at least have a balance of live now and live for the future. Live now as in chase your dreams now. Okay? <laughs> Don't live now as in party, waste all your money and get fucked up and then live for the future and 10 years later decide, okay, I want to be successful. No, you can't do that. You know, if, you, if you're dealing with chicks that are just... You know, they waste your time. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that I thought about it. Okay. You know, this is something that I definitely do want to cover. I can make a whole nother video about this, but I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. You know, don't deal with flaky, flaky chicks. Don't deal with girls that they seem like they want to fuck with you, talk to you. You know, everything's going great. And then boom, out of nowhere, they completely vanish. They ghost you. Or better yet, let's say you guys are supposed to make plans for a specific day, like next week, Thursday. And everything's going good. You guys are talking. And then it's Wednesday, the day before. She's like, yeah, I'm down. Uh, I can't wait. Thursday comes. No no text message. Uh, no replies. Re you get hit up a day or two later. Oh, hey, I'm so sorry. Like, this happened. Um, 
da 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 or just, hey, you know, to me, don't let people disrespect your time at all. If you sit there and you take that kind of shit, then you deserve it because your time is very valuable. Do not let females disrespect your time at all, honestly. If a, if a girl dis- displays to you that she's going to disrespect your time like that or flake out on you, then you know what you need to do. You just need to be like, oh, okay, you're one of those girls. Block her number, delete her number, and leave her the fuck alone. There's way too many hot chicks in the world for half of y'all niggas to be crying over bitches and just all that shit, man. Um, like I said, I can go on on for hours talking about this subject. I'm pretty sure in the future I end up making another video that's going to be kind of similar. Um, but I was having a conversation with one of the homies at work, and I was just like, "Man, I gotta, I gotta make something." <laughs> you know, I have too many uh, guys that are out there feeling the blues. It's Saturday night, man. Um, so if you're at home right now, crack open a cold beer and uh, just just relax, man. Think about what you want your your next ten years to look like. You know, don't focus on trying to just you know chase any girl that you see focus on becoming successful you guys want to um uh, look at something that is gonna kind of tie in what i'm talking about look up dan bilzerian look at that guy he'll tell you the same exact thing he has millions of females lots of money cars all of it but he'll tell you the same thing i just said and i don't even have half of that shit it's universal don't chase them. Focus on yourself and you'll have anything that you want. All right, I'm out of this motherfucker. I got games to play and dreams to chase. Peace.